Okay, here's the uh, my uh, vertical uh, tool changer. Uh, it's low cost. Uh, it's working with Mach 4. Uh, we have Terry to thank for uh, getting the uh, macro to work with uh, Mach 4. It was quite difficult because we ran into problems or he ran into problems with uh, some things in uh, Mach 4. In any case, uh, here is the tool changer. Uh, what's different about mine is that uh, these are generally using uh, AC 380 volt motor. And uh, I didn't want to do that, so I made a modification. You can see the stool that I made there, and I added a flange for stepper motor. And internally, there's a drive uh, to connect the motor to their shaft. The instructions for the tool changer that came with it were absolutely horrible. Anyway, uh, here's uh, the tool changer. Right now it's on tool number one and it has to turn so many turns first to unlock and then it rotates to the position. Then it has to rotate backwards to lock again. I could probably run it a lot faster, but right now we just got it running. And um, I'll now go to tool number four. And I don't have the uh, XZ uh, turned on right now because I just wanted to demonstrate the uh, tool changer. And again, I could probably, I could know I could make it a lot faster. Anyway, uh, it worked with Mach 4. Uh, if uh, Brian would fix and, or add G92, uh, it would be perfect.